Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Um, today I'm going to redo um, an experiment that I did a couple of days ago. It was inspired by Sandra Rettig and um, Petra Gerbracht. And again, ladies, I hope I said your names correctly. Um, but when I did the experiment, it was this, this one that I did. This was the experiment and it's the fl main flower in the middle with some more flowers on the outside but I did too many flowers on the outside, I did seven on the outside and I wanted to do it again with just five on the outside but a little bit bigger so I'm going to try again today so I've got my resin ready I'm going to put my resin for my white into, uh, I'm going to take that out already so I know that's that's done. Got that ready. Just going to take a little bit more resin out because I've got another project that I just want to finish later on. That should be enough for that. And then I can share the rest of the resin um, between these between the moulds. I don't need them full. I just need a layer along the bottom. That's all. Just have a look at that. That's okay. So make my white first of all. As always, I'm going to be using um, Resi Tint Max in titanium white, and I'll be using um, eight drops of Pinata Pearl Alcohol Ink. So I've only just used this um, Rosy Tint Max a little while ago today so it doesn't need as much of a stir but I'm still going to give it a stir just mix everything in and then scrape off my stick and pop it into my tub give that a good stir my resin has been sat for about 20 minutes um, it's a it's a really warm day today so instead of leaving it for 25 like I normally would I've only left it for 20 um, and it, I can feel that it is quite warm so it didn't want to be left any longer than that certainly going to add my alcohol ink just give it a, a quick shake first I'm going to pop the white straight into the piping bag. talk about the alcohol inks that I'm going to use. So I've chosen two colours. They're both made by Resinate. I've got a thing for Resinate alcohol inks at the moment. Um, one is called Bedrock 
and it's a brown colour. The other one is eggnog which is a creamy lemony colour. So I thought they might look nice together. So I'm just going to give them a sh give the bedrock a shake first because that's going in the middle. So that's going to go in the middle. So one, two, three, four. I'll put four drops in the middle. We'll see how that spreads. I think this is one of Resinate's older bottles because it's not got the. Um, the pipette, the, um, the dropper that the new ones seem to have. And then I'm going to do the eggnog around the outside, but I'm only going to put five, um, five flowers around the outside this time. So I'll try and place the flowers and then if needs be, I can always come back and add more, um, more drops. Right, so I've got five there, haven't I? Yeah, I've got five there, so I'll add another another two drops to each. And I'll do the same on the other flowers as well, on the other coasters as well. There we go. So that's spreading quite nicely. So I'm going to get my piping bag ready. And do my piping. The white food does feel quite warm. So I'm just going to take a couple of millimetres off the end. Just check the size of the hole. And that's fine. So I'm going to start in the middle and do a spiral. I'll do the same on each of the each of the centers. Oops. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other petals as well.
The eggnog bloom beautifully. It looks like um, a flower at the bottom and then it's got the centre missing with a little bit at the top. It looks lovely. Um, I wish I was doing a different style with it which I might do later on because I think that would look really nice with the way that's, um, that's sort of plumed. It's going to go around the outside on this one. And again on this one. And that is it. I'm going to do a little swirl in the middle, just on the brown. Just get my silicon tool. I'll just do a little swirl in the middle. That just joins them all together as well. And that's it that's all I'm going to do with it I'm going to leave it to cure up now until tomorrow and I will be back tomorrow to show you the results so until tomorrow I'll say bye for now see you soon hi welcome back I'm going to demold these coasters um, that I did which was um, the ones where I've got five flowers around a central flower so I'll demold them all first and then we'll take a look at them um, they are a, a, oops they are in a holographic mold um, so um, we've also got the ho holographic effect to them so we'll see what they're like pop the mould off to one side take a look at the first one. Oh, that's pretty let me just get some black card that is pretty I love the colours the colours are nice and subtle and they go lovely together um, I really like this eggnog colour um, it goes lovely with the bedrock but that's bloomed beautifully I've got a couple of little tiny blobs but I think they actually add to the effect. It reminds me of a little bouquet, um, the bouquet, that's the outside of the bouquet and then the, the middle is the flowers where the bouquet is wrapped, um, that's what it actually reminds me of but I'm re I really like that. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick up the holographic effect but hopefully if it's not picking it up right now it will pick it up when I do the still shots at the end that one's a little bit more blobby um, it's not it's not too bad but it's a bit more blobby than I would like um, I did when I was using it I did actually think the white seemed quite runny although it was very warm the white was a little bit runny um, don't get me wrong it doesn't take away too much because as I say they are individual bouquets if you like in inverted commas um, but um, I do really like them it's got a little bit of overspill that I'm going to pick up on that one again that one's beautiful bloomed beautifully And the last one, again that's bloomed beautifully. So I've just got one that's got a little bit more blobby than the others. But like I say, I do love the eggnog and the bedrock together. I think they're a nice pairing, they're nice colours to go together. I'll just try one more time to get, try and pick up the um, holographic effect. If not, then as I say, hopefully when I take my still shots, it will pick it up then. I'll, I've tried I'll, I can't tell if it's picking it up or not um, so the only way I can tell is by playing the, my recording back 
Um, so I'm going to say bye for now and I'll be back with another experiment soon. I'm going to take the still shots and then I can get the video uploaded. So bye for now, I'll see you soon.